Joining us now are Kate's brother and sister-in-law, Kevin and Jody Kreider. Also with us, their attorney and child welfare advocate, Gloria Allred. Good morning to the three of you. Good morning. Good morning. So I see that now John sort of sees things your way. He doesn't want the kids on the show either. Are you skeptical at all about his reasons for coming to believe this now that he can't be on the show? Suddenly he doesn't want the kids on either? Skeptical, it really doesn't matter. Um, we are so excited to see the kids, to reconnect with the cousins, you know, have our children playing with, with their cousins, and um, we're just really encouraged by it. And, because um, regardless of his intention, it's good that he doesn't want the kids on. Regardless of his intentions, yeah. That we feel like at least it's getting out there that safeguards need to be put in place if this does go on. You've been here before advocating for these sorts of things. I know that you're taking it a step further now with Gloria. What are you doing, Jody? Um, yes, we are working with Gloria. She um, has been wonderful to work with, and we are just trying to um, make it uh, make awareness to the fact that there really needs to be safeguards set up for all children in reality shows. And Maggie, what we're doing is we are concerned that there are fewer safeguards for child performers, those who are in reality shows, than there are for adults. And children are different, and they need more protection. And we need federal standards in this area because it's the Wild West out there mm. where it comes to rights of children in reality because shows. Because there are laws in California, state laws. Is, there is are that laws not enough? in California, but it's a crazy patchwork a quilt of laws throughout the United States. Some states have no protections whatsoever for child performers. And children are different than adults, and they need different kinds of protections. So we are soon going to be announcing a campaign. We've been talking with uh, top people at the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. Uh, they have long been concerned about protections for child performers. And uh, we are going to soon announce a push for federal laws to protect children in the entertainment area because they are deserving of standards and they are deserving of protection. When you met with the kids recently, Kevin, did they seem like they were happy that they wanted to continue in the show? The show, we don't touch on that because it's family to us. Mm -hmm. um, we went, we had a great time. It, it was wonderful to see them. Our kids have been able to reconnect with their cousins and um, for us, you know, they, the children were in our hearts this whole time, but to be able to love on them and to um, see them and reconnect with them has just been amazing. Because that hadn't happened while it, John it, and Kate were still together because she didn't allow it. It was about a year that we, we weren't um, seeing them. But did they seem like normal, well-adjusted kids to you? Like they hadn't suffered any consequence from this exposure? Could you tell? We feel like that we, they didn't really skip a beat since the last time we saw them. Okay. Um, it was funny because, you know, we were, you know, reserved in the way of, you know, um, how will the reunion go, but it, it was so exciting to see them. It was like, um, it, it, we didn't skip a beat. It, was, it, it yeah. really, it really encouraged the point that we need to help children in all reality shows. So in, in turn, that the experiences that we've had that are so unique um, can be out there, can be, um, you know, our experiences can be useful. And I'm so proud of Jody and Kevin that they want to do that. I think they're uniquely suited to do that, Maggie, that they can get out there and really help to protect other children as well as their own nephews and nieces. And I believe that we're going to be successful in that. Good luck. And Thank Jody, you. I know that, that the case of the so-called balloon boy, Falcon Heaney, whose father may have encouraged him to lie mm -hmm. uh, about this whole balloon thing, mm -hmm. kind of added fuel to your fire. Well, and I think it just makes it very clear that um, parents and people uh, really will do whatever they can to get on a reality show, kind of thinking that's a great way for quick, you know, fame and without the concern uh, without of the their concern. children. And so children's children. interests are often different mm -hmm. than the interests of their parents, and that's why they need special protections. And that's what we intend to win for them. Gloria Allred, Jody, Kevin Kreider, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you, Maggie. Thank you.